Hey, this is Tom, and I'm going to mute this. I've been connecting this SDR Connect a little bit. Um, the user's interface is really easy to learn on this one. Um, so it's most of the stuff is very intuitive. You've got it comes up and it has this control panel in the middle here, which you can change a lot of things, and it has sub panels that you can open up the spectrum display is here with the waterfall down here over here is the audio displays and then here is the recorder if you want to record uh, audio and you can do many things with that um, one thing i noticed by watching the latest videos from the sdr play people is down here on the bottom, scroll down here, you can set um, under options, you can set the waterfall palette. And then I think this is the default WinRAD. And you've got, no, this is the default. That's the default. It changes the color scheme on these displays. And then there's WinRAD, which is a little bit more like I'm used to with SDR console. And then there's one more. There's, oh, actually now there's two more. I didn't see the other one before. It's SpecRAD. Not a lot of difference. And Home. I think I like this one. Yeah, I think I like that one. I think, the, of course, you can adjust it also. And you can change the power display up here. You can either have both or decimeter only or measurements only or none. I like both. I like everything I can get. Display stats, I'm. Let me turn that off because I don't know what that does. Maybe you noticed it, but I didn't notice what it did. I see I've got an overload right there. I need to turn the RFK down. Swap digits. So you can swap um, the frequency and the meter. You can swap those. I'll show you real quick. Boom. I prefer the default. You can uh, do some things with the audio filtering and stuff like that. Close it. So you just, when it's a down arrow, that means you can click on it and it'll open up. And it's an up arrow, it means you can click it and close it. So you can close all these, even the top one. Um, mode control is real simple. Just click on that. Select what mode you want. Pretty simple. Filter preset. Select that. Tuning steps on and off. Tuning step size. And step snap. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe it means the cursor snaps to where you've moved. Now I'm I'm here at 5 MHz WWV, and it's not centered. I don't know. There's probably somewhere. I'm learning. Bear with me. I'm learning. There's probably something where you can get this to be centered. Oh, speaking of this, check this out. This was not easy to do before. Now it's real easy. Sample rate, which means how big a sample it takes. Got it at two, that's the default, two megahertz. And you can go up to 10. Didn't do that before. So, get that off the screen. So now I go from 1,000 megahertz to 10,000 megahertz to 1,500. So I can see the entire spectrum with lots of noise. You can adjust um, the levels here. Let's see if I could find it again. Uh, let me turn its RFK down. It seems to be a little too high. 
oh, under display, you can change the base. Oop, we want to go down because we got lots of noise. There's the base, spectrum average, waterfall average, waterfall gain, uh, reference level. Kind of scale you got there, and other things. Let me close that. You can have uh, multiple receivers. Uh, I think this, yeah, add a, a VRX. So I can add a VRX. So now I got a separate receiver, and th I'm thinking um, since I got this thing showing 10 megahertz, I can move this way off from this one. So I can move it up to 10. I say I can move it to 10. I guess I can. I thought I thought I could. There is a limitation of how, how far off. Well, it does say 10. Okay. There's nothing there. Let's go up to, uh, yeah, there's something right here. And then depending on what of these two, which of these two screens, and you can have many more, which of these two screens you clicked or highlighted, well, depending on what the audio will come from. So if I highlight this one, I say if I highlight, yeah, nope. Well, what do I have to do? Oh, no, it's still giving me audio from there. Um, Okay, I'm learning. Oh, this see this audio is turned off. So I'll turn this one off, and I'll turn this one back off. There we go. And can I turn both of them on? Yeah. It's a little confusing, but you can by opening and you can open a lot of these. Like I said, open these various VRXs in a number zero through whatever. You can monitor various frequencies. And then if you see a signal come up, you can jump to that, like I just did. Turn the audio on. Um, you can zoom in here. So it says there's a big signal just a little bit higher than WWV at five megahertz. This is the volume slider. Um, this is to enable the auxiliary display, which is this one over here, I believe. And this is to toggle what's shown on the left-hand side. And then here's some more options. You can actually set up a server I think I'll be doing that. And then here's the controls for this uh, SP display. You can grab it like you used to, you could grab it, expand it out. Again, a recorder. So there's lots of things that they've kept uh, from the uh, previous version. It's just they're implemented quite a bit differently and quite a bit simpler. I, again, just my preference, I'm not really too excited about this waterfall display compared to the old one and to the SDR console. Now, I don't see any memory. I, you know, on the old one, uh, over here on this part of the screen, um, I had that listing of databases Shortwave station databases, which I can click on, I can scan. That doesn't appear to be implemented yet. They're uh, producing a number of videos. Mike, who works for them, is producing a number of videos of how things work. Uh, I don't see any way of adding um, add ons, you know, like uh, the Fran. FRAN add-on and the other, the other decoders, decoders. I don't see a way of adding those. 
And I think I may have been confused when I saw those um, add-ons in the directory because I think it puts this, and I haven't checked, I think it puts the exec file for this SDR Connect in the same directory as the previous version of the software where the add-ons are contained. Anyway, that's just a quick look. Still learning a lot. Um, I like that it's easy to do a lot of things. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up and have a great day. Bye-bye.